Violent crime fell 15 percent in the first three months of 2024 compared to the same period last year. That's according to new data from the FBI. The numbers also show that when comparing the first quarters of 2023 and 24, murder fell by roughly 26 percent, rape by more than 25 percent and robbery by 17 percent. In a statement, Attorney General Merrick Garland acknowledged that this is the second year of significant decreases. He said, quote, this continued historic decline in homicides does not represent abstract statistics. It represents people whose lives were saved, people who are still here to see their children grow up. Jeff Asher is an expert in evaluating criminal justice data and joins us now from New Orleans. He's also the co-founder of the consulting firm AH Datalytics. Jeff, thanks a lot for being with us. So for, for starters, help us understand how accurate how accurately we should take these FBI crime data when looking at the entire nation. So with all crime data, you kind of have to take the view that the data is often accurate if imprecise. And that's especially true with three months of data that is unaudited and agencies still have many months before the end of the year to report incidents that they might have missed. So I think a better way to look at it rather than the specific numbers that the FBI crime report suggests is to look at the overall direction. And the overall direction shows very large decline in murder and sizable declines in violent and property crime. And we can back some of that up with samples of lots of cities. So we have data from about 260 cities of murder. That's showing about a 19 percent decline there. We took about 180 cities worth of um, auto theft data and showed a 15% decline. So it's not just the FBI's numbers, but we have real world data, world data that is backing up that we're seeing large declines, even if they're not quite as large as what I think the FBI quarterly data suggests they are. And Jeff, how should we think about those declines with respect to last year and then with respect to pre-pandemic levels? Because the pandemic plays a role in our understanding of the, the pace of crime, right? Absolutely. And there was a 30% increase in murder in 2020, a smaller increase in 2021, a small decrease in 2022. And then last year, we probably had about an 8 to 12%, let's say, decline in murder. We'll find out this October what last year's crime stats were. So it you look at the numbers now, it's plausible that we're kind of see close to double the decline in murder that we had in 2023. We'll almost certainly have a third straight year of declining murder. We should be roughly at or below where we were in 2019 in terms of murder. In terms of violent crime, the spike was not anywhere near as large in 2020. And so we probably had a sizable decline in 2023. If we have another sizable decline in 2024, we're talking about, and I think these are numbers that the president has used, some of the lowest violent crime rates that we've seen since the early 1970s. And so then as a final question, just help me um, contextualize that, which you've already done a good job doing, but there's going to be a lot of talk about crime and if, how bad it is or isn't in this election year. Give us the right way to think about how we should take what our politicians tell us about the story with respect to crime, given what we know now and what we might learn from more data to come? I think that's a really hard question to answer because there's no inherent right way to look at it. Certainly, crime has fallen a long way since the 1990s. And even with the spike in 2020 and 2021, the violent crime rate and the murder rate was still significantly below where it was in the 90s still above where it was in 2014 and the pre-pandemic lows that we had seen a lot of those years. Um, and so even if we reach pre-pandemic levels, I think that we'll, we'll probably reach that. We've seen a lot of progress. We'll probably have murder rates that are substantially below where they were in the 90s and largely around some of the lowest that we've recorded in 60 years. But you're still talking about 18 or 19,000 murder victims. You're still talking about in cities like Chicago and New Orleans, where I am in New York and Philadelphia, large declines in murder, but still hundreds of murder victims. So it's still a, an issue that needs to be solved and an issue where there's a lot of work to be done, even if the trends are very positive and we can celebrate downward trends and increasing success there. Jeff Asher in New Orleans. Thank you so much, Jeff. That was very helpful.